Prayer. Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you for learning all of us today in this important endeavor. We ask that you bestow your guidance and blessings upon each attending. May we honor one another by keeping an open mind. May we voice our truth and listen with an open heart. Bless everyone present today and that each may be able to share his or her contributions and gifts. Grant good health and safety and wisdom, peace and goodwill to all of us. We ask your wisdom and grace to use our talents for the betterment of others. May the various activities related to this day be a success to an intervention. With gratitude, we offer this prayer in your name. Amen.
condition of our parents. I extend a hearty welcome to all the parents who have taken time out of their busy schedule to cheer up the students and appraise the efforts of the school. Hearty welcome dear parents.
How about my dear listening and My Lord, I love you as much as my sisters, but she has not said enough. Nothing pleases me except my love for you. My only happiness comes from my love for you. Nay, you can get the word of my kingdom now. Shall I give you riches for the of my kingdom? Shall I give you more than I gave? Cordelia, now you speak. Speak, my dear princess. I can say nothing, my lord. Nothing? Yes, nothing. Nothing will bring you nothing. I gave you all my life, love and care. Now, your father is in need of relaxation. That is of my life. Speak again. I am waiting for your answer.
my lord i pardon for my wrong stupidness i could not help you to stay with your second daughter so why do you feel sad honey let me go Please forgive me for what have I done to my dear princess. 
who was true to me and who loved me the most i know you will hate me no my dear lord how can i hate you my majesty you are the one and only ruler of this kingdom you will remain the same forever we will support you my lord to rule the kingdom again what a pretty young lady who are you are you an angel from heaven no
have led our armies to succeed in Gaul and Egypt, expanding the power and influence of a great empire. Lord Caesar, you are a great leader. Your military geniuses are master. Yes, my fellow Romans, I have brought great glory to our nation, but I have not done it alone. I have had the support and loyalty from my soldiers and the trust of my Roman people. We will call to it all. On this auspicious day, as per the wish of entire Romans, we proudly announce during Caesar will be our emperor. We request Caesar to receive this honor without refusal on behalf of Rome. I solemnly declare it by crowning our emperor Caesar. Oh, no, I never expect this big reward. I extend my heartfelt gratitude for your trust, but I am not interested to accept the crown. I expect only love and support from Romans. It is enough to serve my nation even better. Please don't mistake me. Dear Caesar, this is the third time you are refusing it. It's really a big disappointment. My lord, as the legend wants to say an important message to you. My lord, please be alert on 15th of March. Your life is in danger. Ha, you are a good dreamer.
It's time to go for the night house. Liberty! 
Stop. 
Gonzalo put some foots and books 
stone that we ended up on this island, else we could not survive. You were a duke. I always thought you were a wizard. The books that Gonzalo gave me and the magic of this island made me a wizard. Now it is time that I show them what it means to mess with a wizard. Hey there. The storm is delivered, master. Now they shall pay for what they did to me. When will you then set me free, master? I promise I shall set you free and I intend to keep it. But you will have to do a few more jobs for me yet. Come. Father, father, listen to me. The storm is only getting worse. Darius hand works in the boat and made the passengers fall into the sea. Six 
used to say for a man who organized a ship trip to his own brother. Who's they? Who's they? Hey, you're shouting in my ear. Did you hear that voice? The storm melted your mind. Scene four. Caliber shows the magic book to just a freaking you know and Stephen. That's all right. I don't know how, but the moment I laid eyes on you, I felt as though the storm had come so that I could meet you. I felt the same. We have just met, but I feel like I have known you forever and I should do whatever it takes to win your hand from your father. If it is okay with you, I will take it as a yes. Thank you. And 
bad. And so they left for Milan. All of them wiser, better beings for remember. What you give out is exactly what you.
uh, it will lead to the victory of the kings. So it's a tragedy that man or uh, boy who uh, enacted as a king here and his details well. So among the three daughters, who is the best one? Yes, third daughter is the best one. Why? Because she is true. She never loses her originality. That's why she won the heart of his father. And the next thing is, Shanti House, they did the same tragedy itself, Julius Caesar. And uh, the society where we are living is empty of everything. Ambitious, possessiveness, greedy, wealthy, everything. Uh, people, we are running back after the money and the wealth, isn't it? Why do we hear? What for we need to study? What was the need to study? Why you are enrolled in this school? What's the cause? So, people run back behind so many things in this world, but the thing we need is, we need a mercy, kindness, love, everything. And the third, uh, tempest by pretty house, it's a humorous claim. And Prospero is the king, and uh, boy who did the character of a Prospero is very good, and he, his dialogue delivery is also very good. And the spirit can even, uh, what we give to the persons, it will be received by us twice. If we do good, it will return back. If we do bad, that also will be return back to us. Okay, so what as a children, as a student, as a kid to your parents, you must be very good enough to and don't expect anything in return. God giving others and loving others, don't expect anything in return. It will be a great setback to us. Okay. And the last thing is uh, Merchant of Venice by Kirti House. They have done very nice and the lawyer has played very nicely. Porsche, I think you are the cleverest lawyer and Shaila is given it for a pound of flesh. Can anyone say what is the cleverness of that lawyer? Why she won that uh, thing? Why she won that case? He is demanding a pound of flesh without dropping any blood. Can we do that one? Can we take a flesh without a drop of blood from your body? Huh? You, if, if you go to a doctor, he is injecting you. Sometimes from injection also we are getting a drop of blood. How can we get a pound of flesh without a dropping of blood? Is it possible? No. That starts the cleverness of the lawyer. So, sometimes in the society, we need to be clever, we need to be mercy, we need to be sympathetic towards the people who are us. And my grateful thanks to all the sisters and teachers who lended me and gave me this precious time. Thank you all.